Hi, welcome to Cook for Health. Today we are making chickpeas curry. For this, we are heating the butter in a pan and added cloves and some peppercorns to it. Saute it and now go ahead and add the onions. The onions are large cut. We don't have to cut them finely because we are going to make paste of them anyways. So just saute them for a minute. Now add ginger and garlic. And we are going to saute all these for around 8 to 10 minutes till they are fully caramelized or they become brown like shown here in the video. So saute them properly. Now go ahead and add tomatoes. I have used diced tomatoes. Um, they are canned ones and no salt added. You can use your own the fresh ones but make sure you submerge them in boiled water for 5 minutes and remove the skin. Now saute this mixture of onion, tomatoes uh, and all the ginger, garlic and spices for around 8 to 10 minutes and let it cook properly so it gives a very nice flavor to our sauce. Now transfer them to the food processor bowl or a blender and blend them into a puree. So that our puree is ready. Now heat oil in a pan and add cinnamon sticks and bay leaf to the oil, to the heated oil. This gives very nice flavor and fragrance of course to our curry. These are whole spices with lot of medicinal values to it. And now go ahead and add the puree and mix well. Okay, we will saute this puree for 2-3 to three minutes here. And now add red chili powder, curry powder, some salt and mix well. Mix all the spices, the curry paste or our sauce is looking so pretty already. A little water so we don't burn the spices and it is actually cooking. Here you go, it looks so cool. Yeah, now we will go ahead and add turmeric to it. Now saute it, mix well and you can use the water. The chickpea water I have set it aside now I have used the chickpeas which I have soaked um, overnight and pressure cooked them the next day and then use them but you can use the canned ones also it's the same uh, I prefer using this way and um, I'm using the chickpea water that's why it looked um, the way it looked but you can have the food you can use the fresh water now I'm adding the chickpeas which are perfectly cooked and we are going to mix them everything so well it looks our curry is almost ready i am going to garnish it with the dried fenugreek leaves but if you don't have them you can definitely use the cilantro now here i have made this in a huge in a big batch so you can see there is a lot of curry mixes um, and also a lot of tomatoes and a lot of onions but um, exact measurement is in the description below for you guys to follow uh, for the small batch and our healthy chickpea curry is ready served with rice basmati rice regular rice naan or roti or even bread and enjoy thank you for watching see you in the next video